Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I'll show you how to make this LOL dollhouse I made for my granddaughters for Easter. This dollhouse is portable so they can take it on the go and it's great to store their LOL dolls. It's about eight and a half inches high, 10 inches wide, and six and a half inches deep. The dollhouse opens for easy access and when they unlatch it, they will see a sparkly yellow brick road and on a hot summer day, they could jump in the pool. I will show you how to make the couch and bed in another video, which you can find down below or you'll find it at the end of this video. I will take you through the steps of making this dollhouse as well as show you how I sewed it. And if you don't have a sewing machine, I believe you can easily hand sew it, hot glue it, or use fabric glue instead. Part. And because this is a grid, I don't have to trace it all out. As you can see, this is a straight line here that I could follow along. And I could turn here or I go to this end. I purchased my plastic canvas at Walmart for $3.47. It's a 12 by 18 inch ultra stiff and it comes with three sheets. You want to finish cutting your plastic, then cut your fleece. I am using a heat and stay fleece. The only reason I'm using this, it's the only thing I had on hand, but you can use regular fleece that will work just as well. Then you want to cut your fabric. We'll cut the outside walls. I'm using a sparkly pink fabric for the inside walls and the flooring is like a checker. I got all three of this materials at Joanne's Fabric. The roof I got at Walmart the sequin material and the grass I purchased this material at Walmart. Next we will cut and iron on the windows and doors just like I did here on number three. 
I cut my heat transfer with the Cricut machine. You can use any die cut machine. And if you don't have a die cut machine, you can cut your heat transfer vinyl with a scissor or an X-Acto knife. If you don't want to use a heat transfer vinyl, you can use fusible webbing on fabric instead, as shown on this house. No matter which option you choose to place your windows and doors on, I included the free cutout in SVG, PNG, and PDF format. You will find it in the file down below in the description. For the windows, I wanted to match the pink glitter on this LOL flyer, but I had a hard time finding a pink glitter that was in a heat transfer that would come close to that pink. Either it was too purple or it was too peachy. Then I decided to try this idea I had. I ironed on a light pink, then ironed on a pink transparent on top of it. And I can't believe it. It's a perfect match. If you would like to use the same colors as I did here on the sample, I will list a link down below in the description where you can purchase these two heat transfers as well as all the heat transfers I show in this video. The white sparkle was used on the steps and the silver was used for the doorknobs. If you do not have these at home, I would suggest using white instead. If you will be using Cricut Design Space, I am sharing my project. You will find that link down below. After you load my project into your design space, you will notice I grouped and attached the two window pane and the two light pink windows. Now all you have to do is click make, choose mirror image, place your heat transfer, shiny side down, and cut. All right, let's lay out the windows. You can either eyeball it and lay it on the fabric or follow along what I do to get a more accurate placement of the doors and windows. On my pattern, my windows are lined up where they should be placed on the fabric. I measured from the top of the pattern where the window pane should start, which is two and a half inches. Next, I measured the side, which is 1 and 7 16th. I'll lay my ruler on the side of the fabric and I'll move the ruler till the two and a half mark lines up with the horizontal grid line. I will pull down on the fabric slowly keeping it even till it lines up with the zero on the ruler. Now I'll grab my other ruler I'll lay it horizontal and move it till the 1 and 7 16 line up with the vertical grid line. Then I'll pull on the fabric this way till my edge If you do heat transfer vinyl, you should really check this out. I'll list it down below in the description as well as all the items I use in this video. This way you could easily find them. For number six, 
the window and drapes, I found an easy way to lay down the heat transfer. Place your fabric on top of the pattern, and if you can see through it, you can do this next step. If you can't see through the fabric, then you want to do the same step as I just did on the windows on number four, and measure it. I will lay the black heat transfer down first, and I did cut these out together. Now you could either place your plastic back on top, this way we don't press over the rods, or you could use parchment paper.
If your fabric is not see-through, you will follow the pattern direction and only cut two fabrics. You want to lay down your fleece, then the fabric. And you can place the pattern on the side here. And I marked where your handle should go. Or if you like, you could use a ruler and it's two and a half inches where you will start the handle and two and a half inches on this side. Just flip it over. It'll be just like that. Pin it. And when you're pinning this, make sure your fleece is behind number six and it's behind number four. Let's take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch from the edge, stopping right there. Do the same thing for the other side, a quarter inch from the edge, and stop right when you get to this line here. After you sew the sides, we are going to attach number five. I'm going to attach the desk on this side. And you can see which side you want by flipping it just like that and seeing where you want it.
line it up pin it and we'll sew a quarter inch from the edge straight down press this seam open you'll notice I have two pins here and that is because I will be placing the rubber bands there what you will do is measure from the bottom up and I'm going to place mine about three and a quarter inch you can go as high as four and three-fourths of an inch and you want to make sure the loop is faced in and we want to line up the edges and line up the sides here pin it take it to the sewing machine and sew straight across be careful not to get the pink from number five on each side cord in there after you sew on the yard Go ahead and push down on the material here and we're going to hot glue it or you can choose to sew it.
get there. I hand sewed on the star button as well as a button on each side. You can come up higher on the elastic than I did. Be careful. are done. Now your little one has a portable dollhouse to take on the go or play with at home. This is perfect for the LOL dolls. It also could be used for Polly Pocket, Barbie Club, Savannah Family, Barbie Mini, just about any doll under six inches. The cool feature of this dollhouse, which I know every parent will love, is being able to store these dolls inside the house when not playing with them. It would be great if I can get you guys to send me a photo of your house when it's completed. It's not mandatory, it's optional, so please don't feel obligated. I thought it would be nice for everyone to see some different ideas. I'll list my email down below in the description at the very bottom of the page. You will also find my website link right below the email if you'd like to come by and check out the photos. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my video, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell. This way, you'll be notified when my next video comes out. 
and please share my video on your social media. This way, I can continue to offer free patterns. Thank you. Bye-bye.